In this video we're going to cover how to download and use the Freeview Pro program for our Witness Pro DVRs. The first thing that we need to do is download the Freeview Pro program. So we're going to open up our web browser and go to websurveillance.com. Now you'll notice under support and downloads is these options for Freeview Pro. Now you're going to want to find out from your installer which version of the program that you have because uh, some of them are not interchangeable for instance if you're running version 3.1c you cannot use version 4.0 and vice versa so once you go ahead and click on it the program will download and you can uh, just go through the steps and install it and it will put a little icon right here on your desktop we're going to open up our uh, Freebrew Pro program double click it and this screen is going to come up. If it's version 3.1c, it's going to be uh, more blue and uh, green and gray. I'm sorry. Now to connect, we're going to go ahead and click on connect in this little corner here. And the DVR site name, we could leave it empty or name it whatever we want. Really doesn't matter. Where what does matter is the next three things: the IP address. In this case, I'm going to use dot .15, .15, that's the one that we have at our office. Now, if you're on an internal network, meaning you and the system that you're looking at is on the same network, you're going to have to use an internal IP address like I am here, typically starting with 192.168.blank.blank. Blank. Now, if you are on a outside network you're gonna have to use your web surveillance um, WS remote IP address so that would be something like demo dot WS remote dot com demo being whatever your installer told you it was be but for now we're going to use our internal IP address now unless we tell you otherwise the default port is always going to be 1001 for most of our customers that does not change and then enter obviously your username and your password for the DVR system now we have a few options right here the first one is live video obviously just for live playback you could also do remote playback video clips which allows you to remotely playback videos as if you were sitting right in front of the, P the DVR itself and you could do remote download clips uh, in which case you could download the video files that you've already seen uh, in case you wanted to save them or give them to the police or whoever it may be now we're gonna go full image size is the default and MPEG4 typically is the default you can if you like save your password with, and you don't have to plug it in again or you could just if you feel unprotected you can go ahead and just shut that off and as soon as we hit connect we're going under live video this little guy will pop up here and you could select which cameras you want to look at individually or two or you could just hit select all it'll pull them all up and click OK now you'll notice all the cameras come up you could open it up this is actually my tech room and you could open them up just like so now the nice thing about the version 4.0 and up software is this little button right here when you click this this will create a shortcut on your desktop once you click it it will say save ok now I'm gonna go ahead and exit the Freeview Pro program completely and here is the link that it made I'm gonna go ahead and rename this demo you can name it whatever you like if you have multiple sites you can name it whichever one and I'm gonna open that back up and that link will directly take me into the live the live playback of that DVR each and every time you don't have to enter a password or anything so that's a nice little feature that they installed in version 4.0 in our next video we're gonna go over remote playback of the DVR so using the same program we're gonna go ahead and pull up video clips thank you